hello friends today i'm going to show you uh, like c drive disk cleanup uh, in production servers uh, we may see some disk pile up issues in that scenarios we can clear some operating related operating system related files and uh, other temp files so that we can get some space on the drive so we should know what should be deleted and what should not be deleted which is a safe safe method to delete the files uh, what are the third party tools we can use to trace out the files and delete the files what are the inbuilt tools available so i will be showing the few couple of uh, uh, couple of tools and a couple of methods before we start cleaning up the drive first we need to enable we need to enable hidden items so that we can see the hidden files hidden folders too so now we are able to see the hidden folders now so what are the files we can delete that we will see now i already copied a couple of uh, paths so that i can explain the things easily so general we can clear temp folder on the c drive so it's not there here so we can go to windows temp and simply we can select all and we can delete the files few files may not be deleted as there are sometimes there there they will be in use so it won't allow us to delete the files <coughs> see so we can just skip that files So here I'm showing a couple of locations where we can delete the files. We already deleted these. See temp windows. So in uh, this is a Windows 10 box. So we may not have we may not have this, but uh, I will show you the snapshots which I took. So in Windows 2008 or 2012 server. We can see we can see like in program data in Windows VR folder we can see that report queue and report archive these are generated uh, whenever any application is uh, getting crashed so without is any hesitation we can delete these files if you don't require some uh, if you require any troubleshooting or uh, you want to ana analyze the files we need this if not we can delete the files if application is getting crashed you will get uh, generated these these files and folders so uh, it's showing 56 mb here but uh, sometimes it will be in gbs uh, around 3 gb 4 gb like that so you can delete these files So we can, <coughs> if it is an IS server, we can see INET pub logs generated like it will be in GB, it's like 10 GB, 20 GB like that. So which you check with the application team and if they didn't require the logs, you can delete the logs or else you can archive the logs. So uh, though it is in GB, if you archive the file logs, it will be it comes to mbs once our log file folder is generated like zip file is generated you can select all and delete the files so this is what system related log files these are also we can simply delete this can be deleted 
files are in use so we may not delete so we cannot delete as these are in use So in server sometimes people will download few applications and uh, once installation is completed they will simply leave it like that. So check with the, your application team or the server owner and you can delete the files in the folder download folder. It's a default folder to uh, like files which are getting downloaded. So we can delete files. These are my desktop files so i won't be deleting <coughs> so we can also delete software distribution downloads in the software distribution folder these are all we can delete just escape if you are getting any error could be there in use so I'm unable to delete the files let me try one more time So it's saying I need administrator privileges. So I just continue. No, no deleted. Sometimes people will delete the files, uh, they won't use shift delete in that scenarios. You can see the files in the recycle bin. So we will clear recycle bin. Like this and you can also do using precise. So here we will use tree size rip application. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually it's not a free tool. Uh, we need to buy it, but you will get it for uh, you will get it for trial period. You can use it. So if you run it, you'll be able to see all the hidden files and all files folders everything here. It is the best tool which we can use, but we need to purchase this. It's very much easy to pull the like pull the folder trees and everything. So here we can see that uh, VM the VMs folder is consuming around 220 GB. So what all we can delete we can see here now. So if you go to so you can see recycle bin here. So here sometimes people will delete uh, four files and uh, they will they will be available on recycle bin. So we can delete from here. Simply go there and select the file and click this. So we can do that. Apart from that. I already shown a couple of options so it's easy to see the user data like user whoever logs in if uh, their profile will be created and they may they may download on their desktop or they may like 
they may download uh, like few files and they're all visible here we can simply select and delete so add data we can clear app data too like see here it's showing google chrome around 1 gb so you can check and delete the files cache file you can cache folder we can delete please select all and delete that so you will get a lot of space so we got around 900 mb As we discussed earlier, this is the folder. Where the queue reports and uh, this will be generated. So simply select all and delete. And delete this report archive folders also though it is 0 MB I'm just trying to delete here we uh, here it will be sometimes like I told uh, it will be in GBs, so clearing this you will get a lot of space. So if you go to Windows folder, here what we can delete, we will see installer. Here is patch cache. Uh, it's showing 29 MB here, but in production servers, uh, the server uh, like uh, if the server is 10 years old or uh, more than that, it will be, the size of that patch cache will be around 2 GB, 3 GB. Sometimes it will be 10 GB. So, what exactly is this? Is like whenever a patching is done, the cache, uh, the installation cache will be saved here. So you can delete this there won't be any impact to the server or to the application or even to the operating system simply select it and just delete it so clearing that you will get more space apart from that if you go to software distribution you like already shown you like downloads you can clear this folder too don't delete this folder just delete the uh, files and folders inside that apart from this in production box uh, whenever you you configure a mini dump or memory dump you will be seeing the folders here like you will be seeing the memory uh, mini dump folder here uh, whenever a server crash it will create a, a dump files the dump files will be uh, like we can clear the dump files if uh, the memory crash issue got fixed uh, they won't be clear uh, cleared but that files will be available on the server you can clear uh, like mini dump uh, folder as well as memory dot dmp for file memory.dmp file uh, whenever a dump file is created memory.dmp will be around 1 gb to 2 gb so simply we can select that file and we can delete memory.dmp file whenever if uh, server crash again that memory.dmp will be recreated 
so you can delete from here it will be available on C, C windows and uh, mini dump folder is also available on uh, windows folder just don't delete the memory dump folder you just delete the files inside the memory dump uh, inside the mini dump folder so these are all manually we can delete like whatever I told that files can be deleted manually we have inbuilt tools uh, which we can use to clean up the files close this now if it is windows 10 box or any other like you will have the built-in tool available Disk cleanup is option which we will be using to clean the drive. This one. So we need to select the drive and we need to click OK. So you will be getting the list of files to be deleted you need to just select the files see recycle bin it's showing 8 10 m mb temporary files whatever which you you think it's not required you can just select and you need to click ok i'm just ready <coughs> now it started cleaning up Meanwhile, uh, okay, I have already added system files too. So just click OK. Click Yes. So it starts deleting the files whichever you selected. Along with that, we have third party tools which we can use to clean up the drive. Uh, this is a third party tool, safe to use. This is called System Clean Cleanup Utility. It's a freeware. Simply, you need to go to this site and you need to select download so i have already downloaded that file so this is a tool uh, which is very useful but uh, be careful when you're running it on production box so what you are aware of like impact aware of impact so you can see that here debug memory files also selected everything whatever you done whatever we done manually uh, everything was added here system logs windows logs see uh, we are running the windows disk cleanup that that is also added here we can clear internet ie cache cookies clear network history whatever is whatever files we feel safe to delete you can just select it here now it is reading the disk now so it will take some time i will pause the video so that once the reading is completed 